Hi there YouTube, this is my second video. Sorry for my first video being kind of lame. Sorry for the audio. It's because I have a fish tank in my room. And so this time I'm in a different room, so hopefully you guys can hear me better. So, yeah, it's the same concept of my first video, just war points, no loot. So, here we go. I'm going to kind of skip forward to the base. I think it's the next slide. I'm not sure. As you saw, I have the same base as Destroyer 77. It's a really good base. You guys should really try it out. It's really good. You get attacked, get six, get a 10 hour shield and no loot stolen. So, what more can you want? So right now, probably, I'm looking for a good base, you know, really good base. More war points than loot. No, I don't want loot. Try it out, see what's going on. If you guys want like any help, you guys can leave comments so I can help you guys any questions, something like that. Cause I kind of know the game a little, you know. That's why I started this, cause I want to help some new players see how they can develop their skills. Cause this game is a really good game. The reason I don't really like Clash is because a thirty. 30 barbarians takes up to like 20 minutes to cook and I was like no my comp takes like 11 so I'm gonna attack this base with my comp is one dragon six onis 70 archers four commanders and six rams and 30 samurais so my dragons are level three the rest are level five except the commander and I got four level five free schools so I'm gonna lure the donated troops which he had I'm gonna destroy them first like always that's a good always. He only had an SM Master, a Mongo, and an Archer. It's a weird one, but no matter. Destroy them. And I think I'm attack. Like I said, I always go for the splash damage towers because I hate them. So I'm gonna attack this tower first. I'm not sure if I attack on one side. I don't think so, but I think I do. Spam my Sams to back up the meat wagons. And yeah. As you can see. I dropped a free score right there. And then I'm going to drop my archers to back everyone up with my commanders right there. It's going good right now. I don't think I get 100% though. We'll probably do, I'm not sure. As you can see, I'm just. Then I deploy my dragon to help me out. For some reason, my dumb troops are on the outside and not going inside. Like I paved them, like I paved them a straight way, but they go into that wall right there. Pretty dumb way. So I'm gonna spam my troops, some troops outside, to take some outside towers. As time is slipping away, and I don't want to lose, you know. Sorry for that. Um, like I said, I'm really I follow sports a lot. I guess the liquid one. That's good. Assassin then comes out. Since it's a low assassin then, like probably level one. I look like maybe a level two. Not things one because only has two troops. Um they're really weak, so they didn't really help him. If you would have upgraded to like level three, that would have really destroyed like everyone. Yeah, you see it did do some work to my troops, but since it was a high level one, it didn't really do that much. I recommend upgrading your assassin then they really work and put them inside the middle instead of the outside. They're really your backup. They're like your backups in case everything fails. They're really good. They're good defense. And you see my dragons just doing work, destroying everything. These dragons, they're, I like them. But ones I really like are the like SS Bastard. Those do work. I had a vid, but I didn't save it. I'll probably make a new one. What'd you guys do in your tournament? I got. Gold in my first one, so I won 5 million jade. But then in the next tournament, I got stuck with gemmers, so I went bad. I only got like 50 diamonds. So, whatever. You see, epic victory 100%. Um, 9 million, 900k. Took four war points, that's what I wanted. So, I skipped to my next battle. You can see 60 war points. So, I was like, oh, let me get this one. As you can see, I do have SM Master on this one. That's my comp 3 SM Masters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack for both sides. As you can see, I'm gonna attack. As you can see, he has two splash damage towers over there. But I try to lure the donated troops. He has nothing, so I'm just gonna go straight for the attack. 
I'm gonna distract them and hit the ram. Deploy my Sams. And then deploy my meat wagon. Sorry, it's text. And then my commanders. And then my archers. And then drop my two essence masters right there. Oh, they're level three right? essence masters. They're fully upgraded. They do work. Even level ones do work. As you can see, just spam them. I, just, I think I'm going to take from one side then. No, I don't think so. I'm going to think I'm going to deploy them right now. As you can see, freezing that cannon. It's doing work on my Sam's. So I'm taking down. And I don't know why I deployed that free skull out there. Probably slid my finger. Didn't even notice that. So I'm going to deploy my last one right there. Probably didn't need it, but whatever. Better safe than sorry. So then I'm going to deploy right here. I thought I was going to run out of time, so I deployed right here. I didn't even have to deploy my essence masters, but I did. So whatever. He got frozen. And then he just started. For some reason, I thought both of them died, but they didn't. They're still alive. And now it's an empty shell. I'd have to clean up. Sorry for that volume thing. All I have to do now is just clean everything up. The essence masters are really overpowered. If they had like more hit points, it would be really overpowered, but they're really good. They're like one of my favorite players in the game. My favorite player right now are the archers. But like, who doesn't love the archers? Also, I tried not to use all my troops. As you can see, I still have 27 and 2 on these. So I didn't use all of them. I tried not to use everything to save time. And then here's my other battle. I have 25 Mongols. Switch it up a little. They're level 3 Mongols. Right now, I'm upgrading my Samurai Sword ability. So these are level 3 Mongols. Level 4 Mongols. Like 14 million. I was like, damn. I don't know about that. I don't really use Mongols. I heard they're pretty good, but I don't really use them. But I wanted to mix up my comp, so here you guys go. Just for you guys. He has no donated troops, so I'm attacked. On two sides, I believe. I don't think I get 100%, though. This time, when you have two free scrolls. So deploy my meat wagons, free scroll, ram. So with my ram. So and for some reason I deployed all these rams. I don't know why. Then I released all my Mongols. And then my commander to tell them where to go. Another free scroll. I think I deployed the first one too early. Then I just put up my archers. This is typical I always do. It's a pretty good strategy. Yeah, I usually always win. But this one I don't think I'll get 100%. I usually always get 60%, you know, 60 70. And you can see that Freeze Tower is doing work as always. But my arch is going to go there and beat him up. Boom. Gone. For some reason, I don't know if I deployed them all. I forgot to deploy six Mongols. My fault. I don't think I get everything. But my Mongols are hanging, hanging there. I believe they should have a little bit more hit points since they take a minute to cook. And then you have like tops 200 or something like that. And all these take two minutes to cook and they have like a thousand. So at least like 500, you know. As you see my archers right there. As you can see, I don't think I don't, that's all I get. I don't even think I get the castle. Oh, wait, I think I do. They put my last six Mongols and like ten um, archers to kill the castle, which I think I successfully kill. The Mongols they look pretty cool. It's crazy because I have a history class, and we just finished talking about the Mongol era. They're pretty. They're pretty savage warriors. One of the best warriors ever. But their specialty was to ride on horses. So maybe, you know, I forgot a horse, but you can't ask for anything. You can't have everything. So you see, he just got 70%. Destroy the castle. It's good enough. So I didn't get all 64 war points. But you can't win all of them. 
So retreat. As you can see, other news everything. Because I don't want to waste more time. And I got my defense. Only 48 war points. So my next battle. My last one today. 54 war points. I had a hard time finding good bases. So I was like, whatever. I'll just take this one. Show my tech from the bottom. And from the top. And the wagons, as always, first. Followed by the ram, which was destroyed. Epic fail. I think this was destroyed too. Another epic fail. Shot my commanders. We should have done first day my ram. And it will up to the next one because I already wasted like all my rams. So I have to attack from one side now. Deploy all my Mongols. Then my both of my commanders. Then I put all of them, all of my archers, half of my archers, and my free scroll. Doing work. Sorry about that. that was my dog. So you can see, I'm gonna deploy my last round right here, so my mongols can go inside. So I'm going through. I don't think I get 100%. I might do. I might. I think I might. See, I'm destroying. So next vid, I hope you guys comment. I hope you guys leave a comment on this video, so you know you guys can tell me any suggestions, any more videos you have. I, I might. Upload another video tomorrow. I work tonight, so I might not, but hopefully I will. Battery's dying, failure. Freezes up my game for a while. You see, I just deploy all my archers to get a 100%. This is what's my last raid of the day. Sorry about my dog. Taking seeds they're destroying. I love seeing when I love zooming out and looking at the base. Look at that destruction! Looks so awesome. Just destroy that guy. Well, see you guys later, guys. Bye.